Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming Abroad. My name is Jens and today we're back at it again buying awesome merchandise like this from that one app called Shenyu, which is an app I can use here in China to buy secondhand video game merchandise, video games, accessories and systems and then use those items, flip them, make profit, use half that profit to invest into the 3DS collection, use the other half to keep buying more merchandise and eventually build the ultimate 3DS collection by using as little of my money as possible by just flipping merchandise that I find on this app. So today we found some really cool stuff and I bought a few of them so I can show you guys what it is and if you see this out there while you're in your uh, shopping at your thrift shops, pawn shops or anywhere else you can definitely pick some of these systems up. So this one right here is the Sony PSP Go. Uh, this system here came out I believe in 2009. The original price for this one was about $250 so it came out a little bit after the Sony uh, PSP and this system right here uses uh, no UMDs. It is a system that um, you can download games directly from the Sony PlayStation Network and you can play them on here. You can also download games, I'm sorry, movies and you can put music in here. So it was a, a nice little portable system you can take with you. Uh, came out in two colors, the uh, piano black and then the, uh, this one here is the uh, pro white but it is it does have a bunch of uh, hello kitty stickers on it uh, this one here is the piano black and again this is the um, pro white here and these were the two models that came out i did pick these two up from one seller on the app called shenyu this person wanted about uh, 800 rmb for both of them together and if you uh, convert that over to dollars, that's about, I believe, um, $126 for two systems. So that's not a bad score. I also went and found another Pro Byte. So this one has no stickers on it. So this one you can actually see how it's supposed to look without any Hello Kitty stickers on it. And again, this system right now is uh, selling very well on both Amazon and eBay. I believe it's because people are able to mod them and they're a nice little system to have uh, for collectors. And this, these three right here are in excellent condition. I'll show some videos so that you guys can see them here. This one I also paid about um, 400 RMB. So you're looking maybe about like 60, 60 to 65 dollars. And then I picked up one more Piano Black. This one was a little bit scratched up. Uh, but still everything works, great condition, all the buttons work, and this one was about uh, 366 I believe, uh, close to 400 RMB which is about $60. So not a bad uh, score for four systems. Um, for four systems I paid about $240 all together and they came with all the uh, chargers here, so I have all the chargers for every one of the systems. And these systems do use memory cards and I think this is the reason why these systems didn't, weren't so successful. So successful is because the memory cards were expensive. They were like, uh, I think Sony released a 2 gig, a 4 gig, an 8 gig, and a 16 gig. And they started at like, uh, I believe like $45 all the way up to like $120. So I think maybe this is one of the reasons why the Sony PSP Go didn't do as well as Sony wanted it to do. But. Uh, Definitely, if you're able to see these out in the wild, pick them up because um, the uh, Piano Black, this one here, the uh, Piano Black on eBay, goes for about anywhere from $150 to $180. And um, the, the white one, the Pro White on um, eBay goes for about $180, also about $150 to $180. On Amazon, the Pro Black goes for about $180. I'm sorry, the Piano Black. And then the Pro White goes about 220. So uh, definitely items that you can flip and double your profit, and then use that to uh, make some money, and then uh, invest into your collection, whatever it is that you're collecting. So let's say all together um, we sell them, and for about 720 dollars, all four of them, maybe one a 180 a piece. After maybe subtracting what we invested into it we can, and fees, we can come out making about $350 in profit. So not a bad uh, profit from just investing $240.
what I thought even to make it even better is that I'm gonna I went on that app called uh, Shenyu and of course they're gonna have everything I saw some memory cards on there they're going for about ten dollars I'm gonna buy some memory cards and bundle them in with these systems and then not only that I saw that they had the official Sony uh, PSP Go uh, carrying case in different colors so I'm gonna buy a few of these and then I bundle them in with the system and those are only about four dollars so that's not a bad uh, bundle that I can come up uh, and build that I can build and then uh, put up for sale while I was looking for that uh, case I came across something else which was really interesting the component cables for the Sony PSP uh, Go uh, brand new they're selling for about nine dollars on the app called Shenyu so of course I looked it up on eBay to see how much they were going for and brand new in the Sony packaging they're going about forty dollars so I'm definitely gonna pick up a few of those cables and sell them on there so I can make some profit off of that but not a bad score um, did you own a PSP Go? I know I didn't I skipped it uh, because I, I like having physical discs and I was pretty happy with my Sony PSP uh, if you did uh, what, what was it that you used it for? Did you uh, download games, uh, movies, music? Is it something that you own now and maybe you do a lot of emulation on there? Definitely let me know in the comments. Eventually in the future, I think I'm going to end up buying one. Uh, I like the pearl white color and I might keep one of those for myself. But let me know what you think guys and until next video, stay safe and I'll see you again.